Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to learn how to draw a witch's pot. A real simple one. And uh, I'm going to be using this Copic marker. And uh, I might be using a one colored pencil. I'm going to use a green colored pencil. So let's get started. It's going to be real simple. This is going to be like easy, easy, easy stuff. You can use a Sharpie. Like I said. You draw right side of the circle. Left side, we're drawing a pot, remember. I try to make them as even as I can, but if I can't, I can't, you know. That's all right. Look at the parentheses signs. Small, I'm going to do the small lip of the pot at the top. Top portion. I'm going to throw a little bubble shape because the bubbles are going to come out of the pot. I'm going to be careful of the thickness of this. I'm making some of the ones on top too thick. You can leave me alone. Oh, it's no problem, Dad. Going over here, the back side of the pot. So I leave that open right there. Uh, it usually has a handle. Handles from both sides. You can make the handles any way you want. I just like to put semicircles. Even though that would be a real small handle. There's fire underneath. We're cooking it on open fire. In the old days. Drawing the underneath portion there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I am going to fill in most of the pot. All I, you know, I'm going to. Use a big flat edge of this marker, but if you had a sharpie, you already have a large side of the marker. I'm gonna fill it in. Um. <clears throat> what else is going on? I'm dressing like Wilfred today for Halloween. It's gonna be fun. Well, not today, but you know, when Halloween occurs. And like I said, you can just kind of you don't have to stay directional with it if you're gonna make it. If you're gonna really black it out, but that's fine. That'll that'll do the job. And uh, you can kind of like fix some of the lines over here. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crayon, not my crayon, my uh, colored pencils. These are cheap colored pencils. They're Scholastic. Um, they, I think I got them for free, I believe, at some kid's event. I don't remember what. My little brother. My, my little uh, sister's event. Or, I'm sorry, what's wrong with me? It's our little cousin's event. But I'm going to take this, and I'm literally just going to go through and lightly throw a flat layer of color right here, of orange, to make it look clearly like, you, you can go into more detail, throw some yellow in there, but I'm just going to keep this simple for the demonstration. It could just be that. It could be flat. You could, so you're just filling in the lines. It's almost like you're doing a coloring book right now. Green, I like the inside. I like. I think green is a very vibrant color. So I'm going to put the inside of the pot. They're cooking something green. And uh, that should be about it. I think one final touch that I like to do with everything, and I'll, you know, I guess you guys know it already, is I like to throw an extra thick line toward the bottom to kind of ground the image, even though this is fire, right? I just like to ground the image to the floor somehow. I feel like it gives it weight and puts it on the page. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later.